Dragon Ball Z Lord, and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Ball Z Universe 2. So in the last video, uh, it was the 4th of July special, and uh, we did our first training with the Supreme Kai of Time, and we did our first Time Patrol mission. Um, uh, today is just going to be a regular day for us to be doing some stuff. Uh, as you can see on the map, we have uh, these little buildings that are like lightish red but kind of pink. Uh, those are the instructor events. Um, the blue dot down in the corner is uh, a quest event. Um, again, the red flag is like the story events. Um, so we're going to go to those today. And we're going to uh, probably proceed more in our time patrol, time patrol missions. And then maybe start our parallel quests. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go down over here to the Traders Academy where the Supreme Kai, where the Supreme Kai of Time told us to go. Ugh. And now that we got this uh, hoverboard thing, we can get a lot easier. Welcome to the Time Patroller Academy. Here, here you can learn the basics of battle through Elder Kai's challenge quest. You can also take advanced tests, no, advancement tests to raise your class. Furthermore, fighters will act as your teachers, instructing you in various techniques. There are other teachers in Canton City as well. Be sure to seek them out and benefit from their instructing. You can... <clears throat> You can increase your training level by clearing quests, clearing quests and undergoing training. Once you have progressed far enough, advancement test quests, advancement test quests will be will become available. Clearing these will change your class, giving uh, you access to new skills throughout teachers. Impressed? I put everything I have into making it for you, time patrollers. Learn well from my apparate appara appara I don't know how to say that. Your wait. Oh well, your instructors for they have much wisdom to pass on to you. You must become stronger and stronger. Use the academy well and build up your skills. Okay, so. And now, as you can see, there is the red house over here, so we get to talk to Krillin. Some instructors will give you int intuition tests to, to complete. You can earn recognition by passing these tests, which will give you access to quests where you can learn new skills. Okay. Hey there, so you're one of the time patrollers. Nice to meet you. My name is Krillin. Supreme Kai of Time told me about you, so you want to get stronger, huh? Well, I'll do what I can to help. I know tons of different techniques. If you're interested, just say the word. You want me to teach you a new technique? Sure, but first I've got a test. I got. I, I've got to test you. Let's spar. You're working for. You're working for the Supreme Kai of Time, so I'm sure you're tough. But I want to see what you've got up close and personal. What do you say? Want to go around? Yes, please. So, Krillin's intuition test. Uh, winning conditions complete the instructor's lesson. Lose conditions player HP defeated and time expires. And when you do beat his, or like a quest or a training mission like this, uh, you get uh, money and a new skill. So like rise of action in a hundred zenny. That's what they call the money in the game. I don't know why they call it zenny. It must be a uh, um, out of state or out of country kind of thing. Okay, Krillin's into an intuition test. So we gotta learn rise of action.
Sorry, the camera's a little off balance. Okay, there we go. I'll go with that for now. Master skill, super attack, rise to action. And we got one TP medal. So, it stands for time patrol medal. Okay. That didn't take too long. So yeah, like I said, um, stay tuned for tomorrow, or no, not tomorrow, um, Monday's episode, because starting Monday, Monday through Sunday next week, I'm starting to play this game every single day. I'm going to try and play this game every single day and make at least a 20 minute video every single day until season one is over. That's right, I'm making more than one season. So if you guys want to watch other uh, seasoned characters that I have in mind, uh, let me know. Um, so that's all I got for right now for upcoming videos, but let's get back to this. Great job, looks like you'll be able to handle my training after all. I'll come up with lessons appropriate for your skills, so make sure you train hard. So no slacking, got it? Okay, so we can so we can do another one. Um, let's let's do this later because we gotta get more stuff done. So then we have to go. This is the blue marker, which is uh, Sandun. Sandun. I don't know how to say. It. Oops, I forgot to read that. Um. Oh well. That's, uh, that's gonna be a habit throughout this uh, Let's Play because I'm just gonna speed through the things by accident. So if you guys wanted to read that, sorry, or wanted me to hear me read that, I'm sorry, I didn't. But, yeah, that's gonna happen a lot. A bunch of speed, or speed clicking because I'm just ready to fight in the fighting the intervention games. I'm just gonna download. Like, What kind of moves do I got? After image, destructive energy blast, and meteor crash, and full power, uh, full power energy blast. The heck is that for image too? Okay, there we go. Let's click. Level up, level four. And level five. Okay. So. Okay, and I know I'm, pre I've, I'm pretty sure when you beat one of these characters or blue marker, you get like a Dragon Ball or something. You're just as tough as everyone as everyone said, or as everybody said. That was a great battle. There are so many time patrollers in Kanton City. If you talk to them, you may just challenge. They may just challenge you to a fight just like this one. Battles help give give you needed experience. You might even get something special if you win. Try to talk to them as many as you can. Combine that with your training and keep working hard. Okay, so we got the four star Dragon Ball. Yeah, sorry about not reading it earlier. Okay. So, we will, uh... Yeah, because that was a speed click. I'm, th that may happen a lot in this, uh, Let's Play. So, just a, little, just a little bit of a heads up. So now, as you can see, there's, t there's uh, three more tr uh, training things. More intuition tests. Uh, we are going to do those in a later episode. We're not going to get them done now. Um, if anything, I may just do an episode just doing training, uh, just doing training, because, yeah, because we need to do, yeah, because we need to do this, uh, story, or story event down here. So these are the parallel quests. Parallel quests are available from the reception area up to the, up to three characters, including your own. 
By, per by participating in a parallel quest when offline, you can select other warriors to join as support. Some parallel quests come directly from warriors you can meet in Kantan City rather than the reception area. Okay. This is the quest lobby. We gather reports from the time patrollers about their dis disorientations in the, in the time across the galaxy. You can try, wait, you can try your hand at a quest here or put yourself through the paces with time patrol training. Time patrol training. Uh, some quests may greatly d diverge from the history. Others may surprise you in unexpected ways, but don't let the that phase you. Please select a quest. So, they they only have one quest or one parallel quest set up for you. Um, I want to say that that is because they don't want to show you all of them because I know there's more than just one. Off you go, come back in one piece. Cause I, yeah, because I know there's I know there's just more than one parallel or more than one parallel quest. Fixing the camera a lot because I'm just trying to get the whole thing in frame. There we go. Okay. So we're gonna pick my character. Uh we're gonna go with Goku. And we're gonna use Piccolo. And I know that there's like DLCs for this game, so um, when I get the, when I get the DLCs, I'll do a let's play on that. Okay, so being a time patroller. Alright, you want to know what it means to be a part of the time patrol? Well, listen up, and listen good. Let's start with the basics. Activate that trusty scouter of yours, if you would. See all those items lying around? Well, pick them up. Okay, well, yeah, yeah, as I just showed you, if I press the uh, left arrow key, you can activate the scouter, and that blue square, oh, those blue uh, markings over there, that is where you can find the item. So then you can find a material item, and then there's another one all the way over there. Now, as you can see, you're wondering probably where it's at. Well, now you have to go back into it and find it again, and oh, there you go. You can acquire items and skills by picking them up by de and defeating enemies uh, or that they use. Pressing the ups or up arrow, you will bring down a list of obtained items and skills at the bottom of the right of right up the quest screen you will lose the items if you fail the parallel quest you are on sh you are on so be sure to complete the quest okay i actually didn't pay attention to that one time when i was playing this because i've played i played a little bit of this before but not i didn't finish the whole thing but i didn't I didn't even know that you could look at the stuff like that. Okay, in Parallel Quest, you can use devices called gates to be transported to another area. S some are closed at first, but they will be unlocked when the right conditions are met. Go near an unlocked gate, lock onto it, then press uh, the circle to move uh, to another stage. When there are no enemies in the area, gate... Gate locations are indicated by the by the gate icons. Heading towards green gate icons is usually the quickest way to get through the quest. Yeah, I uh, I made another character offline or off camera, not offline, off camera, and I played as, played with him for a while. Um, but you're not gonna see him in this let's play, so if you're wondering, I mean, if you want me to do a let's play on him. Or a little, just a, just an easy video about or my character, or my, my offline character. I can show you, but yeah, I don't think I want to do that. So like that blue, or like the blue stairs over there.
When a circle appears on a KO'd ally, you can revive that, that character. Lock on to the KO'd ally and move close to start reviving. When reviving starts, a grud wait, a grudge will fill and when uh com and when complete, the character will be revived. KO'd characters can provide assistance to allies. Lock onto the ally you want to assist and press circle to assist based on this character's unique tribute or, att or attributes. Oops. Okay. Yeah. 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 During patrol or parallel quest, you can do no. You will sometimes receive a warning when an enemy comes as in as a new challenger. There are also times when the allies will join the battle in a similar fashion. When an enemy or ally joins outside the air of the area you are in, the location that you know, they are will display on the top right of the of the screen. Uh, try heading there right away. Okay. So, as you can see, new enemy. So, we got some Cybermen. I don't have time to deal with you. Hurry up and die. So as you can see, okay, uh, in the battle you can press the, uh, well, as you, I showed you or told you, the left arrow key to, to search for enemies. You will find enemies far away, see enemies hiding behind obstacles, or even view their power level. Uh, unlock, locking on while in search mode will allow you to view even more detailed information. So, not like that, because that's the Supreme Kai, but if you go over there, yeah, the red one, that is, uh, another Cyberman, but it's not saying Cyberman, it's saying, like, Kiaraman or something like that, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how to say that kind of stuff. And then, uh, let's see, so as they were saying over here, when you do do a parallel quest, you get, uh, like, challenge fighters. So, like these guys. How are you? You've been challenged by a time patroller in training. Do you want to accept it? So you can accept it and unaccept it. Um, and then, sometimes, they, sometimes I'm pretty sure sometimes they give you, like, Dragon Balls and stuff like that. Or, like, special items. So yeah, uh, like I said, uh, with uh, Season 1 with Dragon Ball Z Lord, uh, my Dragon Ball Z Lord character is going to be just in Season 1. I'm not going to be making any other characters until Season 1 is done. Um, let's see. So in Season 1, uh, it's just going to be a regular Saiyan. Season 2 will probably be another Saiyan as well. Season 3 will be, I think we're going to be making an Earthling next, and then Season 4 will be a Namekian, and then Season 5 will be a Freezer Race character. So... So that's going to be like the upcoming seasons, and I'll probably, I will probably be doing the same thing I am doing in Season 1, but just with a different character. So, something else is closing in. Hold on. Is it this? 
Satisfying certain requirements to be com to complete a parallel quest will cause a change in the time shard. A warning sign will appear, and a powerful enemy will arrive. Defeating the en defeating this enemy will provide even better rewards. Even if you lose, it will not count as a failure for the time control quest itself. The conditions for the time shard to change for the winning conditions after the change will, ver will vary depending on the quest. Uh, but once it is unlocked, you can view it from a parallel quest regester. Re re um, well, from a parallel quest to Canton City, defeat the enemies and complete the parallel quest. Okay, okay, so. <clears throat> so oh, I love this music. And since, yeah, I played, uh, I made my, another character offline, um, so, yeah, even though, so yeah, even though I made another character offline, um, and just, or not offline, why do I keep saying offline? Off camera, I made another character off camera and played with his character for a while, and I'm pretty sure this is the last of the, uh, reading and everything until, for a long time, like, since I'm reading, I have been reading these long paragraphs and tell, you know, telling me what to do. I think this is the la that's the last thing I have to do. Why don't you mosey on back my way? So I get the ultimate finish. Okay. So even though I said uh, that we would do a, um, a time patrol mission if we get done in enough time for these, um, I don't think we're going to have enough time to do a time patrol mission. Um... Because we did, it took up so much time and during or doing this, so <sighs> hey there, glad you're back. So how was the, the your how was the oh jeez okay how so how was you they did this wrong either this guy's having a stroke and can't spell or talk right or he just can't talk right because it says hey there glad you're back so how was you first parallel quest some people abbreviate parallel quest to p's pq uh you're you're free to uh, you're free to take on pqs as you see fits but they're still very important when you go on a parallel quest, I'm not gonna say PQ because it's just gonna confuse me. Uh, you can learn new techniques from history's greatest masters. It's a mission. It's a mission as well as an exercise. So if you want to develop your strength, you should try as many parallel quests as you can. Okay, so these is about the boosting attributes. Um, I can just tell you about this instead of you know actually sh telling you and then these I, I can tell you about this stuff this is just unimportant stuff so they were telling about the boost attributes so when you get when you level up as you can see I have 14 attribute points you can uh, put them all to these uh, to your health your Kai stamina basic attacks strike supers and key blast supers um, you don't actually have to power up your strike supers. All you have to power up is your health, key, stamina, basic attacks, and key blast supers. Um, but that's those are the only things you need to level or power up. So I'm gonna power. Actually, hang on. Let's power my character up by how many can we do? There. Okay, so. It brings us up to three from basic attacks to max health, and key blast supers is two. So this will increase my key, my health, my stamina, and my basic attacks, as you can already tell. Um, you, they told me about the customization, so I've already showed you this before. Um, the skill set, so you can, you can have like a skill set and like add new moves. 
new super attacks and stuff like that. So, yeah, so we only got done with the main thing today. Uh, let's see. So, and I'll just go to this other story event real quick and just get, and just end up with video here. So, okay everyone, I think this is the end of the episode. Uh, on Monday's episode, uh, I will start off by talking to the Supreme Kai of Time, and we will probably do some more story events, or story, story mode missions. So, this is Dragon Ball Z Lord signing out, and I will see you in the next video.